Hey, Sam friends. Welcome to the Joy Stamp with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and today I'm sharing with you my Christmas card club creations using the Night Divine stamp set and dies. These cards are amazingly pretty easy, even though they look super cool. The secret is the dies. So we're going to have a very little stamping, a little bit of um, blending with our brushes, and then we'll just attach everything on. Let me go ahead and show you how to make each one. Um, because there are different colors. I thought that was fun to change up the colors but have the exact same layout. So we have this is a Fresh Freesia card base, this is our Garden Green card base, and this is our Balmy Blue. Let me show you what the kit will look like when it comes to you. So you'll have two packets. One will have all like the basic white and then some, just three of the card bases and then the, all the other card bases are separately. These card bases will have inside of them all of the dies. And so I wanted to keep them safe and you have them in one spot. So this was the easiest way to do it. So we have it in there, just like so. And in your kit, you'll have 12 cards you'll make. I will only make three of them today, just to show you, or just show you the gist of the three, I should say. You won't completely complete them. <laughs> um, but what you'll start with is your piece of basic white. We'll have one in each color. Move that aside so you can kind of see. There we go. And then you do, you will be needing your blending brushes. So I love these. These are one of my favorite products. They come in a three pack for a fairly good deal. They're super soft and they can be washed. So you're like, well, I need more than three or I have more than three colors. You can either buy one for each color or wash them out. And even now it has hardly any transfer even though this one has been used multiple times so like it rubs it dries off and then that doesn't rub off or, tr or transfer so I I use this for like multiple shades of blue all right so what we're gonna do first is grab our balmy blue and we're going to open it up and we're going to get ready to do some blending right in the center here if you are like well I don't know exactly where I need to do that grab the manger die cut from the Night Divine dies, and you can kind of place it here to give you an idea. It's gonna be about above the halfway mark, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Mostly we just wanna have it where we're gonna stamp our image here. I don't like full strength, so what I do is I do a tap, tap, tap into the ink with my brush. I do a little tap off, and then I have a circular motion where that's gonna be. If it's too light, then we do it again. Tap off a little bit tap on, there we go, and it's very subtle, so you can probably hardly even see it in the video. Let me get closer up so you can see that very light blue there. That one I'm keeping pretty simple. While that's there, we're gonna grab the Knight of Navy for the cover, the stamped image for this one. And I'm using the Oh Holy Knight, but you can switch out your sayings. You can use the same saying on all of them. I have different sayings so that way I can use it more of the stamp set and also so that way um, I don't mix up my inks. Okay, so not right where I did that blending, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp down the old holy night. Perfect. And we'll put those two colors away and I'm done with that one. I suggest if you're doing this one, do all of your stamping and blending at the same time. And then all of your assembling at the same time. Okay, next we're going on to our Let's do our garden green one. So we're gonna grab out the granny apple green. You can switch up these colors. If you don't have this color, you can totally use something that's comparable and it would be fine. Again, that same idea though, we're gonna grab, I have a post-it note that I'm gonna tap off. I'm gonna tap onto that granny apple, tap off just a little bit, go about three fourths of the way up, a little bit above the halfway point. I just do circular motions and that one's turned out pretty nice you kind of tell where I don't hit it from that circle and if you want to go over that again you can or you could leave it there and kind of create a fun little halo okay that looks pretty good I might actually go a little bit further down for this one there we go have it hit that nativity scene okay this one's still out so we're gonna grab the matching color to that is the Shaded Spruce. The Shaded Spruce was the color I used on the 
manger there and that's why it was a nice darker green I tend to do the lightest color for the blending brush and the darkest color for the stamped words glory to God make sure I have this fairly straight right about there in the highest oh love it okay put those two ink colors away and let's grab the fresh freesia this one I did change up. This was my sample card, so I will make this one in the video today to show you the difference between the colors and the colors you actually have in your kit. This is one I liked it, but I didn't love it, so I changed up the colors for you guys. All right, Fresh Freesia is the color of our card base for this one, so that's the color of our blending. Here's my blending brush. Tap, tap, tap off, and create some circles here. Tap off. And this one, I'm having a little bit of color transfer that I'm not loving. So I'm going to flip it over and try that one again. Let me get that. It might be from my post it note. It might be too wet. So I'm going to do a little wipe down here. Make sure it's clean. There we go. That's looking better. We'll get some of that nice purple on here. Okay. Now we'll do a tap. And that should be yes. More of the purples there. Oh, so pretty. Tap again. And you can go as light or as dark as you want. If you want this really dark, keep it going. Or don't even stamp off. I'm going to show you on the other side what it would look like if I didn't do the tap off. So it kind of makes um, a dark first mark. And I don't love that. So I like it to be that first mark to be still just light. So I get that first darkness off and so that way I don't have a very noticeable mark here I see how that one has a start point I don't want them to know where I start in my circle okay then we're gonna grab our ink for the stamping which is the gorgeous grape open that up and even just like this I'm loving this if we even didn't even add those dyes I just love the way these words look surrounded by some beautiful sayings for Christmas. Okay, this one looks pretty good. The stars are brightly shining. That's what I have for this one. Again, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Cute. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and assemble that purple one just because, like I said, I changed it up from my sample photo. So make sure you know exactly what that one's going to look like. These ones I'll save and make later. And let's grab the pieces for this one. So I have the gorgeous grape manger. My Highland Heather's nativity. I have a star. And you'll notice the star is different as well. Um, this was from the Give It a Whirl star, which is really cute. But then they have the amazing stars that are part of the, let me think, what is it called? The Stars at Night is what that one's from. And I love that one because I had a group of four stars I could die cut all at the same time. And so that was the best way to go about it. And this one is missing its animals. Let me grab them from here. There we go. And you should have a donkey and a sheep. Oh no, that one got my purple thumb. We'll switch him out and try to wipe off my purple thumb so I don't create another purple donkey. <laughs> okay, now we just need to flip this over and do some gluing. You might find some pieces in your um, dies that are still have the parts that need punched out. So just take your paper snips or your take a pick tool and lightly press on it and they'll just pop out through the back. And same with that manger. I keep them in there because it keeps them from being so fragile. But like, so this little guy has it in between the lamb and under the manger, and also between his walking stick or shepherd's crook. There we go. Okay, that should be a lot more ready to go. Flip this over. And I use liquid glue for this whole part. I didn't want it to be too thick, and I don't even have any extra embellishments. You totally could use add rhinestones or something sparkly to this card. 
and that would be fine, but I am planning to mill these out, and so I didn't want them to have too many bumps to them. All right, make sure we get a, a nice little line of liquid glue. We'll flip this over and place it above there. We don't want to go, we want to have a little bit of space above, but we don't want to cover up our words, so place it down like so, and that liquid glue is going to start to grab. If you need to put a weight on here, grab a clear block until it dries, but just kind of pressing over it will make it stick pretty well as well. All right, next is our nativity. Flip that on the back side. Do a little bit of liquid glue. This one I almost will do dots instead of lines because I don't want it to have a lot of squishiness as it goes through. Okay, now we're gonna set that just above our manger a little bit there. Cute. Grab our cute little donkey, put a little bit of glue on him. And he's gonna come out kind of in front of our stable so we can't see where the ends are. And just layer him so that way he's showing all the things you want to see behind him as well. A cute little sheep, a lamb, Okay, we'll put him by our shepherd over here. Same idea, he's gonna be right close to our shepherd and kind of covering up that corner here. Okay, flip it all the way over. Add either liquid glue or your stamp and seal. And you see where my inky fingers got here, so I'm gonna cover that part up. But first, you can see how it's not folded nicely. So let me grab my bone folder. I just did a light fold when I sent this out as a kit. So you wanna finish that with the bone folder so that it lays flat and it's just easier to work with. And then we'll go ahead and attach our piece here. Oh my goodness, so fun. I used some very untraditional colors this year for this one and I love it. Oh, but we can't forget our star. For this one, the star is very tiny and so if you want, you can put the actual glue on the manger and not on the star, just maybe two or three drops between the cross beam and that top. And we can set our star right on there. There we go. So cute. All right, let me show you the difference between the two. So this one is just a little bit darker because it has that blackberry bliss was the major color here. And then also the gorgeous grape was the color of the nativity. This one has a little bit more of a lighter feel to it, um, and I thought it matched a lot better with our color scheme of our lighter greens and blues here. I hope you guys have loved learning how to make this. This is such a simple, simple layout, but is easy to mass produce. And we're almost at crunch time, so almost time to send out these cards, and this is a great way to do it. So sit down, watch your favorite Hallmark movie, using the dies, die cut them all out in one setting, and then just mass produce. So have a wonderful November and happy stamping everyone. Goodbye.